Mm -hmm. uh, one home in La Mesa is getting into the Halloween spirit with extensive decorations. All right, Allie Wagner's checking it out this morning. We figured out how they do the jack o -lantern. No, I saw it from the other angle. That's not how they do it. It came up from like a hole, so I think they've got two separate tracks going. Oh, so one goes down. I saw, I saw the man behind the curtain. I mean... I mean, we can't give away secrets, you guys. Yeah. Plus, I feel like I'm part of the crew now with the, you know, like I'm kind of part of the of the fun here. Okay. I'm going to start with Michaela, who goes, okay, first of all, you got up bright and early for us, right? You're in high school. Yes. yes. Yeah. So tell me, because this all started when you were little teeny tiny, yes? Yeah. So it started when I was in elementary school. Um, we would do trick or treats, and my grandpa would go all out for it. Huh. So. And so now it has grown to this. And yeah, tell absolutely. me a little bit about. I mean, what does this mean to you that your grandpa like goes and goes all out for Halloween? Oh, it's so much fun because like before we would never get trick or treaters, and then now it's just a whole bunch of kids and a bunch of families, and it's really fun just to see them all smile. Like some get scared, which is also funny, but I like to see them smile and have fun. Yeah. And then my friends come over and we also have fun. Do you have some favorite? Because there's so many jack-o'-lanterns within this whole display here. I mean, hundreds. Yes. Um, I don't feel like the blow up. And I also like this part, the factory part, because that's new this year. That's new this year? Yeah. Wow. We do something different every year. So, I mean, it's a lot of time and effort that goes in to putting this together, yes. right? Yes. Do you help now put it all together? Yeah. <laughs> this year, a big part was my grandpa, but the previous years, I would help a lot, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you were out here with him, and that's quality time, too, putting this yeah. together. Yeah, it's definitely a special time for us. Oh, that is really cool, and if you think it's just this part, it's not. It's all of it, and Armando, I'm going to bring you in here really quick, as he's still tinkering, still putting things together Good this morning. Good morning. This is so special that it's something that you decided to put together for your granddaughter, and now look what it has grown into. It's been a lot of fun. We enjoy it. Yeah, and so tell me, because I said to you, the second I came up, I go, okay, how long does it take you to put this together? About two weeks. About two weeks. Where do you store all of this? We have storage underneath the house. And and what does it mean to you? As people come by, they check this out. What does it mean when when you see the kids' faces as they experience the jack-o'-lantern factory? The big wall factor in their faces. Just the enjoyment of the family coming over and watching everything. Yeah. And I mean, guys, if you think that this is it... This isn't it. It actually continues on. In fact, Sierra, we'll, we'll come this way. We'll follow Armando and Michaela this way because it's more than just right in here. It also goes back and inside this whole courtyard area. They have hundreds more decorations, jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, it is a whole display here. I mean, and it's only grown, right, Armando? Yes, over, over a few years, they've been growing and growing. Really? Yeah. How many years have you been doing this? At least 10 years now. Wow, 10 years. And I said, so do people give you gifts of jack-o'-lanterns and donate jack-o'-lanterns? Yeah, one year we had a donation center, so they dropped off jack-o'-lanterns here. And we had one year we had a repair center, so we they all the damaged jack-o'-lanterns we got, and we fixed them up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Do you love Halloween? Is it your favorite holiday? I think it more is my wife, and she's a silent quarter partner in it because yes. she helps me collect them so oh. we go to out swap means we help each other look for them so we had a lot of fun now you said people can come they can check you out tell um everybody where to find you and when they should come and check you out all right address <laughs> oh, 4239 69th street la mesa california 91941 okay and so i would imagine as soon as the lights go down sunset you guys are here and ready and to go jack o lanterns come out Oh, my gosh. So much fun. So special that you guys get to do this together, you guys. This is so cool. I love people who go all out for this. And something so special and something we talked about, too. Not super scary for the kids. A lot of jack-o'-lanterns, but definitely a lot of fun and just a really cool family coming together to make this holiday so much fun. So, and... Little Tommy's friend, of course, as well. We got to throw that in there. You want to say what up to little Tommy? Hey, what's up, Tommy? Come out, bring your grandkids out here. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Yes. Wow. Any kid would love that. That's a lot of man hours. Right?
Do they do they do this for Christmas or anything, Allie? Is it just Halloween? Yeah, I mean, that guy's cool. Do, do you do anything for Christmas or Halloween's the one? Halloween's the one. Halloween's the one. Inside the house for Christmas. Inside the house for Christmas. Look at this guy. I'm I'm like I'm just amazed. Every time I come over, I keep, I seem to find different things. Every time I've walked through, I'm like, oh my gosh. I think that's more than one storage unit. Yes. Or a, that's what I'm saying. A really big attic. <laughs> Allie, get between the monkeys' uh, yes. trash cans there. See if it'll hit you on the ears. Yeah, Allie, <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, what a See, nice monkey! Yeah. <laughs> now it's not going. Yes. Nice it, it's monkey. Safe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now Thanks, watch Allie. Plane. So now that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he laughed at you. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the one on Mandeville ah! Street yesterday in San Marcos, and then this house in La Mesa. So hopefully you're keeping track. Have we been to Scott Sherman's yet? Uh, I don't think we've been to Scott okay. Sherman's house yet. We will, though.